Hello, fellow brothers, I'm Kyra Stein, and it is time to talk about Brawl Talk. Now, Supercell just released their Brawl Talk, and uh, I want to take a little bit of a, a deeper dive into that gameplay to reveal some hidden information. Now, I'm actually on vacation, that's why my background's different, that's why I'm using a lower quality camera, a different microphone, but I'm still taking the time to really dive into the Brawl Talk to get you guys that information. For starters, guys, let's go ahead and talk about Take the Latest Brawler coming to Brawl Stars. Yeah. I definitely guessed wrong on Bella. That's really unfortunate. I still think that Piper's little sister should seriously make its way on the Brawl Stars. Maybe we can talk about that more on another time. Tick seems to be really interesting, okay? Um, now, he's gonna be available on the Trophy Road at 4,000 trophies, which means I don't have to punish myself with some crazy challenge to unbox him. Thank you, Supercell. And the first thing that I noticed is that at max level, he has 3,080 HP. This is actually really important because this means that that is going to be the new lowest amount of HP that any brawler has in the game. In fact, it is just low enough that he can actually get one shot killed by a single attack from Daryl. Now, that's really crazy because I don't recall a time that has ever been, well maybe that has with Daryl in the past, I don't know, anyway, that's crazy. Uh, next thing that I noticed is that his range, at first I thought it was going to be a pretty average range, but there's actually one clip where he's attacking diagonally um, that shows that he has a much bigger range than than most of the brawlers in the game actually. Now the attack was like diagonal and so like the measurements might not quite be very accurate, but I was I'm pretty confident that I was able to calculate that the range has a seven tile throw range with about a four tile radius. Oh my gosh, that's crazy because in total that comes to a massive 11 tile range for his attack. This is two tiles longer than the other two throwers, Barley and Dynamite, and it's an entire tile longer than Piper's regular attack. That is absolutely crazy, especially if you pair it with the fact that he actually, his attack actually covers like a very large area. So really like at first glance, Tick's actually going to be a pretty excellent control brawler from a distance. Most likely not very much up close. Now, it actually looks like his attack, every attack has three mines that each deal 896 damage. This means that if all three attacks actually hit their uh, target, then they'll deal 2688 damage, which, that's the fifth highest damage from a regular attack in the game. And it also does splash damage, so you definitely have to watch out for that. Now that's actually really crazy, especially considering the fact that he has a very long range. Now the big struggle with his attack though, is going to be the very long wait from after he attacks until the mines will actually deal damage. It looks like if a brawler is not um, immediately on the mine, it will take three entire seconds from when he attacks um, to actually explode. But if they actually do land on somebody, then they'll explode within 1.5 seconds. Now the delay is pretty long in comparison to a lot of brawlers, so I think that's going to be a pretty difficult um, mechanic for Trick to like really actually land a lot of his shots and deal the majority of his damage. Now because of the way that they actually filmed Tick's gameplay, it was actually really tricky for me to measure his reload speed. With my best efforts, I'm estimating that it's a, it's about 2.6 seconds, which is right between Brock at 2.5 seconds and Piper at 2.7 seconds. That's actually a really long reload speed. It's one of the longest in the game, and that means you're really gonna have to try to make sure that you're like, you really carefully aim his shots so you don't waste your attacks. Now his super looks really cool. He throws out his head. If you're looking at the gameplay, it's actually his head. It goes flying out, and it will actually chase enemy brawlers down and explode on them, dealing 2,800 damage. Now this isn't anything that's like really super impressive as far as like damage goes for supers. It's kind of similar to taking full damage from Spike's super. It's actually the 12th most damage super in the game so he's like right in the middle basically and what's really interesting is the fact that if you're looking at the gameplay it, it's a very short clip but it actually looks like it has a very fast movement speed so it's gonna be like nearly impossible to outrun his super but Ryan specifically did say in the video that if its HP reaches zero um, before it reaches you it will actually explode and that could mean that it won't deal damage to you or any of your teammates. That actually really shouldn't be too difficult because it only has 2,240 damage, which a lot of brawlers can take that out in, a lot of them can take them out in one attack and several can actually take it out in two attacks. Only brawlers like Poco that will have to throw all three attacks will this really be a big issue. Maybe some brawlers like Frank, um, that uh, has a little bit of delay might be a, a difficult as well. Now because of how the gameplay was recorded, I could not actually see how many hits it's going to take for him to charge up his super, so that's gonna be something we'll have to wait and see for. Now after looking at the gameplay, I'm pretty sure that Tick's regular movement speed is the same as the majority of the brawlers in the game. It's 2.4 tiles per second. Um, 
But I looked everywhere for tick star power, guys, and I think that I figured it out. Now, after yesterday's sneak peek, some people realized that the names of the star powers were, they actually corresponded with the rarity of the brawler. It's one of those things that, like, if you don't think about it, you don't think about it. But as soon as somebody mentions it, it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, honestly, I never made that connection. I know that, like, Lex didn't and several of the YouTubers didn't. Uh, but the, the interesting thing is that the star powers corresponding with trophy road brawlers are actually already taken up and already fit uh, several of the other brawlers and there was actually an additional extra mythic star power um, so it's actually very likely that Tick was originally going to be a mythic brawler but that's not really the purpose of this he's now gonna be a trophy road brawler with all this information pieced together it is very likely very very likely that his star power is named well oiled and that's because like a lot of the mythic ones make sense for the other mythic brawlers um, now what's really interesting that I think of well oiled and I think of movement speed right uh, that's the first thing I think a, a machine being able to move faster. My guess is that without his star power, the movement speed of his super will actually be much slower. And his star power will actually mean that his his little attack, because it moves fast, his, his super attack really moves quickly. And my guess is that his star power will actually make his super move ridiculously fast, so it's really difficult for you to escape um, that super. Okay guys, that is everything you need to know about to Tick. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the additional star powers that uh, they will be releasing through the summer, three at a time, which I'm so incredibly excited for. Now, they actually showed gameplay of 24 of the brawlers, so there's actually some that are missing, um, but I'm actually fairly convinced that Supercell did not actually show all of the star powers in action. Uh, just, I think it, a lot of them was just like for theatrical purposes, but there are some brawlers that did show hints toward what their star powers actually are. Now, the first brawler is Shell you will actually notice a little yellow bar underneath her reload, very similar to BB's or Leon's bars that they have. Um, this has to be associated with her star power, right? Now, out of all the names, I'm like fairly, I'm like 99% sure that her star power is going to be called Band-Aid, which sounds like a healing mechanism. I believe that this timer is the likely a charge up time for her healing ability for her that star power. At first I thought that it would be like once it's charged up, you could activate her star power whenever you wanted to by like pressing a button or something like that, but I don't, I don't think that it's I don't think Supercell is going to be adding additional joysticks or buttons for star powers. That's that might be something they'll do for uh, more abilities in the future, but not for star powers, I don't think. That means that that timer, what I think is that Shelly will actually heal a certain amount of HP when that is fully charged if she goes below a certain period of HP. My guess is like 50%. If she gets below 50% and that thing is all the way charged, boom, it goes all the way up. Um, and then it takes another little, so you have to take her out before she um, recharges it kind of a thing. Now there didn't seem to be any sneaks of what uh, Nita's or Carl's star power looks, but if you actually look at Colt, it's interesting to see that his super deals the same amount of damage in the shot. His new star power is very likely going to be named Magnum Special, and I thought for sure that that would mean additional damage, but because it's not dealing additional damage, my guess is that his star power will actually be a faster charging super so that he can use his super a lot more frequently. Now I didn't actually see anything different with El Primo's or Rosa's clips, nor with Dynamite's, Pam's, or Spike's, but Brock's, you'll you'll very clearly see that it, very, it shows four ammo slots for Brock's regular attack, which is really cool, I'm super excited for that. Uh, Poco's screeching solo, very likely, actually shows him dealing damage to an enemy brawler with his super. Now they didn't actually show like the damage number, but we know that, that Dynamite actually had at least 868 damage or health available. So at least, probably like at least 900 damage with his super. That means he could deal damage to three enemy players and heal his two other team and teammates if they're all bunched up right in the same area. That, that's massive. That's a huge turnaround ability for, for Poco, so I'm really excited about that. Now, this clip is really interesting. Both El Primo and Piper here are bots, okay? So we're not seeing star powers for them, and I've tried really hard to figure out um, what they're trying to showcase here. You can see some of Pam's bolts flying in the background. You can also see some penny coins going around, but even after looking at this, for like 15 minutes, frame by frame, I I could not figure out what they're trying to showcase, so really sorry guys, 
no idea. I also could not find anything for Daryl's or Mortis's clips. You can see Leon actually healing 600 health when he goes invisible with his Invisa Heal star power. And uh, my guess is that he'll actually continue healing 600 health every second throughout the, throughout the duration of his super, which would be really cool. Now this Barley clip is really interesting. If you look really closely at him, you'll notice that he's blue and there are actually down arrow debuff signals um, surrounding him. The other times that we've seen down arrow uh, is when Crow actually has his star power and he deals attack damage to other players. They get red down arrows signifying a decrease in their damage. So this decrease, this blue, uh, makes me think that uh, that somehow he'll actually have a decreased movement speed, but that wouldn't really make sense, right? So my guess is that his star power, which is very likely going to be called extra noxious, um, <laughs> that makes me think that he'll actually deal like a lot more extra damage with his attack, but the trade-off will actually be that he has reduced movement speed after he actually attacks. So like, I don't know, that will be really interesting. We'll, we'll see exactly what happens from that because that, that blue is, very curious to me. I couldn't find anything with Frank's or Tara's clips. I also could not find anything with Jesse's or Beebe's clips. Um, in Gene's clip, you can actually see him using the pat on the back star power that will actually allow him to heal their, a teammate 1600 HP if it hits them instead of an enemy player. So you'll actually have to choose between healing a teammate or dealing dan or pulling an enemy. And that's a really interesting trade-off and the teammates could actually get in the way of your pulls. So really interested to see how that will end up playing out. Nothing was shown with El Primo's, Piper's, or Penny's star powers. We also didn't see anything from Bows or Crows, but I did find it interesting that it actually did show gameplay of, of Tick in these replays. This is super interesting because there are 27 star powers leaked with the most recent sneak peek that we saw yesterday, and that's 27 for 27 brawlers. That would mean that Tick would only have one star power, but because they're showing Tick, again, that is that my guess is that they're actually going to be showing, they're going to be releasing another star power that we do not know the name for yet, that Tick will receive sometime later on down, down the line. And that, guys, that's, those are all the replays that we actually saw. Now, in case you're curious, the two that we are missing that were not included were Rico and Bull, so that's, that's going to be interesting. Now, that's not all we're going to be getting in this update, okay? We're also getting four new skins that's going to be Mecha Crow, Mecha Bow, Robo Mike, and Robo Spike, and each one of them is going to cost 1,500 gems. Now, in, in addition to them, they're also going to be adding star points into the game that you will actually get by pushing brawlers past 500 each season. This is great end game content. Now these star po star points will actually allow you to purchase color variations of various skins like Mecha Crow and Mecha Bow. Now they didn't show us any color variations of Mecha Crow and so that has me thinking that there's, they're gonna be super crazy awesome they're waiting for later, right? I mean part of me has, has me really hoping that they'll combine the awesomeness of Golden the Phoenix Crow, right? Like the Phoenix Crow with like a Mecha Crow into some like really cool Phoenix Golden Mecha Crow combination. Like that's seriously crazy. And I cannot wait to see what that's gonna be like. And I'm also really curious how expensive these are gonna be being like how long it's gonna take to push them. I don't know, I don't know. I'm really excited about this Brawl Talk guys. As you can tell from this video, um, I cannot wait to dive into the dev build and actually give you guys inside information on what's coming as soon as Super Soul will let me. Make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications so you do not miss that because even though I'm on vacation, guys, I cannot wait to cover this update for you guys. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars. Boom.